Good evening, I'm Janine Prasad. Here's what's making entertainment news today. Tomcat has finally tied the knot. Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes made it official at their Scientology marriage this past weekend in Rome. Baby Siri joined the happy couple and their star-studded guests included Will and Jada Pinkett Smith, J-Lo and Mark Anthony, David and Victoria Beckham and even old foe Brooke Shields. No word yet as to when and where the honeymoon will take place. Russell Simmons, the powerful and business savvy co-founder of Def Jam Records, plans to turn his scales to reforming the diamond trade in Africa. Simmons plans to visit South Africa and Botswana this month to tour diamond mines on a fact-finding mission. He's starting the Diamond Empowerment Fund, which he says will teach Africans how to cut and polish diamonds rather than just simply mining them. And you've probably heard people say that Hollywood blockbusters are bad for your brain, but what you may not know is that they're also bad for your lungs. A university study has found that special effects explosions, idling vehicles, and teams of workers building monumental sets all contribute to air pollution. The study was released by UCLA. And finally, comedian Sasha Baron Cohen's Borat character may thrive on making Americans look stupid, but it hasn't hurt the nation's appreciation of the fake Kazakhstan TV journalist. The film is wildly offensive and satiric, but with a built-in fan base from the show and a great buzz from the internet, it was destined to be a huge hit. The film has raked in a 10-day total of $67.8 That's what's making entertainment news today. I'm Janine Prasad.